Daily Message, January 19, 2023 The Seven Deadly Sins, Part 7 Anger or Wrath We think of anger as a strong feeling of displeasure, whereas wrath as an extreme form of anger, which can be destructive as well as vindictive and can lead to one engaging in extremely destructive behavior towards others and even oneself. In the Old Testament Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible and in the New Testament, themos and ogre are the Greek words for anger and wrath, respectively. As a human passion, however, ogre is by and large synonymous with themos. Both words are considered vices, in some cases in the same breath, as in Ephesians 4, verse 31. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. A prohibition of anger directed against a fellow human being is clearly expressed by Jesus as well. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be answerable to the court. And whoever says to his brother, you good for nothing, shall be answerable to the Supreme Court. And whoever says, you fool, shall be guilty enough to go into the fiery hell. Most of the New Testament statements on human anger move along these same lines. With respect to sinful wrath and anger, James provides us with a general rule that wisdom dictates we should practice as Christians. That is, as written in James 1, verses 19 through 20, everyone must be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger, for a man's anger does not bring about the righteousness of God. Paul provides us with another rule to live by with respect to anger, whether we have a good or bad reason to be angry, as written in Ephesians 4, verses 26 through 27. Be angry, and yet do not sin. Do not let the sun go down in your anger, and do not give the devil an opportunity. The bottom line, whether one gets angry or not is a matter of choice. One can choose anger or kindness. As Christians, let us be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven us. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.